Okay, so here I am in Access 2010. This works the same in all versions of Access. If you're using 2007, 2010 or 2013, you've got the ribbon. If you're using 2003 or even earlier, then you'll just have your menus and you just basically create a new query a different way. So what we're going to do here is actually create a new table within this database, but you can create it in another one. Um, so that you can take this information and put it into another database that is using something called make table and we're going to use a query to do that now before you use anything in access any data just please make sure you've backed it up and if you're unfamiliar with this make a copy and test it on that rather than using it on the real data so always a good idea to back up your data first okay so here is a table it's got some dates items and amounts I want to create an archive of November 2013. So what I'm going to do is just close that table and we're going to click on Query Design. If you are in 2003, you would be clicking in the Query section and then New Query. So I'm just going to click on Query Design. It pops up same as in all the others, Show Table, and I need to add a table to my query. And there is only one here, Sales Data. I could double click on it or click on Add, which I'm just going to do, and click on Close. So let me just move my query grid up here so you can see what's going on. Now, I'm only going to take these three bits of data. The date, which I can just drag down here. The item, I can just double click on these to make it easier. And then I just want to put in some criteria. So firstly, this is still a select query. So if I click on Run, you see all the data here. If I go back to View, I want to take from between the 1st of November 2013 to the 30th. So I'm just going to type in between, and this is the date format set on my computer, which is set to UK, and the same for some other countries as well. Don't forget to type in the right one for your country. So if you're using the US format, it would be 11 1 2013, and so on. Let's just take a quick look. Let me click on Run at the top here, and you can see it's just pulling out November 2013. So if I click on View, what I want to do now is Make Table. So I'm just going to click on Make Table, and I come up with this dialog box, which is the same in all versions. I'm going to call it Archive November 2013. Now, that's going to put it in the current database, which is going to appear over here with all the other tables. So no data is deleted from this table. It just creates a brand new one and puts it aside. So good for backing up, and also you might want to use it for doing some other testing. You know, if you've got a lot of data and you're running queries on it, sometimes having it in smaller tables makes it all a little bit quicker anyway. So this is also good for archiving. You could put it into another database. So if you click on that, you can now choose the file where that other database is. So also good for backing up or for copying across some data perhaps into another database. I'm going to stick with the current one. I'm going to click now on OK. Now, what's going to happen is when I click on Run, it's going to tell me how many rows it's taking and pasting into a new table. Depending on how much data you've got, this could take a little while. So I'm going to click on Yes. You can see it's created that other table over here. If I double click on it, you'll see it's got just the November data in there. And if I just close it, and go to sales data here, it's not removed anything at all. So that is a make table query. What about if I want to do this again? Well, all I've got to do is click on make table again. If you're using Access 2003 or earlier, you just go back into query and choose make table. And now you could give it a different name or now put it into another database, another Access database, that is. So that is how you can use make table in Access, which is really good for archiving data.